Wafa, a 54-year-old plastics trader, lost everything he had worked for for 28 years following the April 10 fire outbreak. He owned three wholesale and six retail shops, all destroyed, and estimates his losses at 5 million cities due to the recent stocking of his shops. Company Kakura Medeno, Eburobe. I owe companies more than 600,000 cities. I have wholesale and retail shops, but I've lost everything. It's not a joke. A large cosmetic shop was also destroyed by the fire and quickly spread to other shops. Around 5 million Ghana cities is, is in this carnage. And... Uh, we, we believe that we, we, we can't talk much, but God knows what the cause is, why all these things happen. Some traders attributed the reoccurring fire outbreak to the use of gas cylinders in the market. The market secretary advocated for a complete ban on gas cylinder usage within the market premises due to safety concerns. We have to stop using gas in the market, mm -hmm. using gas to cook in the market. And the market is totally choked that you can't pass through the market. The massive destruction has left numerous traders traumatized and in a state of shock. As of 1 p.m. Thursday afternoon, no public officials from the assembly or NADMO had visited the market to assess the situation. The fire service identified the primarily obstacle in tackling the fire as the lack of market accessibility. The latest fire outbreaks highlight the need for proactive measures to prevent future incidents and safeguard the livelihoods of market traders. Once again, accessibility to the scene of the fire has been blamed on the fire service inability to douse the fire or prevent the fire from spreading to other parts of the market. It has always been the excuse from the Ghana National Fire Service, but it is obvious in every market setup that the markets are choked. The fire service are always unable to get to the scene of the fire. But for how long will this continue? Properties, wealth, millions of Ghana cities keep going down the drain. Traders and market women continue to appeal to the government to come to their aid. Joseph Armstrong, Gold Alibi TV3, Madina Markets.